Hi everybody, my name is Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today what I want to do is that I want to take a look at two different German watch brands. Uh, Glashuda Original and Nomos Glashuda. Both of them are from the German town of Glashuda. Uh, now, why these two companies? Well, on the one hand, they have, I think, certain things in common. Uh, on the one hand, they're sort of seen as mid-level uh, watch companies. They're, uh, I know that Nomos has some, some very, on the lower end of the entry levels, but they also have ones that are, are quite spectacular. Uh, Glossuda Original is somewhat similar, but more pricey. There's another big difference, too. Glossuda Original is owned by the Swatch Group. And the Swatch Group has certain things that they have their members do that uh, make them part Swatch. Whereas Nomos, ev everything that Nomos does is what no one wants to do given the market conditions so let's take a look at these uh two brands and i want to start off with the one of the brand new ones too by the way too i tried to pick newer ones as opposed to older ones um uh, here are the nomos club campus cream coral uh this watch is 1500 us dollars uh, it's rather relatively not too small but it's 36 millimeters uh watches are more around 40 millimeters 38 37 maybe but 36 is a little low but that's okay uh the price is is great it's hand wound it has the movement's called the alpha and I believe originally they had a movement that was by uh, Pazu and then taken over by ETA to 7001. And the Alpha kept a lot of its features. And so a lot of the watches with the Alpha uh, movement in it's a hand wound movement, which I like. Uh, three hertz, another thing that I like about it. Lots of stuff to like about this. but. One of the best things that an, as an entry level, too, this is another thing I want to do. I want to sort of start the lowest, the middle, and then the highest of both of these companies and take a look at them. Okay, um, this one I wanted to mention, this one is called the Club. Now, there's another one called the Club Sport that's 3500 and 150 and it has a DUW 3001 in it. All of the all of the movements that are DUW are manufactured. They're uh, Glass Huda, uh, Nomos, Nomos Glass Huda produce uh, manufactured uh, movements. The Alpha is too, but uh, it's based on, like I said, very closely, but different from the ETA 7001. Okay, so that's the entry level. I think that the uh, Club Sport, which is a little fancier, and then it has a upgraded movement in it, still not too expensive as watches go these days. Now, the entry level, or what I consider the entry level, simply because it's the lowest price that I could find on the MSRP, is called the Glass Huda Original 60s. Love this watch. Just really like it a lot. Uh, they have uh, their caliber 3952. Um, it's an automatic 48, uh, 40 hours, 4 hertz, 28,800 semi-oscillation per hour. It uh, displays the hours, minutes, and seconds. Now, one of the things that Swatch introduced is the silicon hairspring. And it's difficult to tell if they really did in all of them or not. And here's why. Uh, you can see on that there's a swan's neck regulator on the uh, 3952. But uh, even so, it may not function. <laughs> all right. 
you try to 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 regulate a silicon hairspring one of the problems that people have with them is that while they're wonderful in so many other respects they're fairly brittle and so you don't try to regulate them without a special a special one anyway but this is a nice watch good looking watch but when, what we'll see is when we compare the price differences, uh, Glossuda Original, while they're sort of, Nomos and Glossuda Original are both sort of in the mid-tier of German watches, there's the Glossuda Original seems to be a good deal more expensive on just about every, every level. Now moving up to the second level, uh, this is the Nomos tangented neomatic 39 blue gold this is another one uh that's new uh that the, just came out this year 2023 and uh it's 33.90 now this is uh the price this price is sort of a mid-range nomos is less than an entry uh level glasshood original right uh, the caliber DW, uh, DUW 3001, it's automatic. It's got a 42-hour reserve frequency of 3 hertz again. Now, when I, uh, 21,600, I like the slower uh, movements. The, it, it also has something called a swing system escapement. Now, I would like to explain that to you. But I haven't seen a really good explanation. Coming from Nomos, I was going, and I said, well, we have this new escapement, and it's got a swing system. <laughs> what is it? I mean, how is it different from, a, let's say, a, a typical uh, Swiss escapement? You know, so anyway, but that's a, that that's sort of could be a nice little mystery if, if you'd like to look it up. Love the looks of this watch. I mean, it's a nice, just 39 millimeter. I like the size. It's not one of these giant watches or these little t uh, teeny weeny ones. It's right in what I call a, my the sweet zone on this. It's got a it's just a nice looking watch. Now, this next one, Gloss Huda Original uh, CQ Chronograph. This is another new one uh, that just came out this year from Gloss Huda Original, 13,900. It does have the silicone balance in it. But you can see that it still has something that looks like, <laughs> like a uh, maybe maybe that this is a swan's neck. But what does it what does it do? As a, and I'll, I'll take a look at some possibilities uh, in a bit. In some of the in the write ups when you're reading about the um, the movement, a lot of the ones in Glass Suit Original say uh, regulator free. What is regulator free? What's the swan neck doing there? If it's regular, that's a that is a regulator, and what they're saying basically is this: is you can't regulate silicon in in the same way that you can regulate um, transitional metals um, like the ones that are in Nomos. So it's sort of an interesting kind of thing. Now, like I said, uh, I don't care for silicon hair springs but they're really good as long as you don't try to regulate them, as long as you don't try to adjust them. Uh, this has got a, uh, this watch for a, for chronograph, it's got an original movement. This is a 3723 by Glass Hood Original. It's not some knockoff on another movement. You can uh, see in the movement, the um, column wheel and there's uh, it's got flyback. This is a nice chronograph, uh, and th with a date, the 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 whole date thing. If you're gonna have a date thing, have one big enough to look at and see at a glance, and you can on this one. So it's a nice, it's very nice along those lines. Now, when we dip into the high end of it. I love the Nomos Lambda 39. Now they have a 39. The other one is just co called the Nomos Lambda. Uh, it's a 42 millimeter, but they don't call it 42. They just call it <laughs> the Lambda. Uh, but I like the, I, I like the 39 millimeter size, 18 karat rose gold, seventeen thousand uh, dollars. Now it's not you know it's not chump change, but boy what a watch! I mean you get a really beautiful dress watch. One of the more interesting aspects of this watch is this giant uh, 
power reserve indicator up at uh, up toward 12 o'clock near the top. This watch is another one. I just love this watch. It's hand wound, which is another thing that I like. Um, three hertz, 21,600 semi oscillations per hour. Just a beautiful watch. Uh, and when you look at the movement, it has a sun ray. Uh, I guess you could call them Gen Geneva waves. They have a name sold to something or other. Uh, and this is, and they have some. Uh, engraving on the balance cock. Uh, they do have this giant plate, so you can't see much of the movement other than the the, um, the balance wheel and the regulator, which actually works as a regulator. Okay, now th the last one I look at is the Glasgow Original Panomatic Calendar. There's another new one, uh, brand new. Boy, when I saw that, uh, when I saw the the movement. I thought, oh boy, this is this is an unusual uh, rotor on there. It's sort of off-centered and so forth. But then you have this double swan neck that is not new, but if you've got a silicon hairspring in it, half of it's not going to work. Uh, the way it originally worked was the one on the right regulated the frequency or the spring and the one on the on the left regulated the beat or the swing of the uh, swing of the balance wheel and <laughs> I don't know whether they're for looks or what they are or for some reason they they didn't put in a silicon hairspring in this it's really funny in looking at the write-ups on this at, in the on the uh, Glossita original page, Panomatic calendar, brand new, you know, great, um, hundred hours reserve. The uh, Ford Automatic that's like hey, that's an annual calendar, and I love the way they have a, between about three o'clock and six o'clock. There's this little arc with the uh, date, and it's a retrograde date. Nice big uh, date window for the uh, day of the month. Moon phase. This is a neat watch. You really like looking at this watch. 18 karat gold. But again, here you have this great big <laughs> double swan neck. And I'm not sure if it has silicon in the hairspring. It, it, only half of it's going to work. And if it, uh, if it doesn't, then one will handle the beat and the other one will handle the uh, frequency on it. But they have a, they're having, a, you can tell that Glasgow original, the people are there because they're, they, a lot of the stuff they're fudging on the, whether they have silicon hairspring or not. They may, I mean, it may all of them because this is pretty much the policy that uh, Swatch seems to be going with, not only with Glasgow original, but also brands like uh, Breguet and Blanc Pond. <sighs> you know. So anyway, so that's a, these two German watches, I think, are, are fascinating in a lot of ways. I like them both. Uh, I wouldn't mind having any one of them, and, uh, except maybe the, uh, the club was a little small for me. Other, the other ones I, I really like a lot. I really like to hear what you think of these watches. Uh, you can see the price, this one's 26,600, the highest price on the uh, Nomos is 17,000. So a lot of differences there. And just to get your ideas, I'd like to hear them. Uh, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collection.